एवरीवन थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग एडुपीडिया वर्ल्ड वीडियोस सो दिस इज द पार्ट थ्री वीडियो इसे भी वर्कलोड मॉनिटर इन द परफॉर्मेंस ट्यूनिंग चैप्टर वर्कलोड मॉनिटर यू कैन यूज द वर्कलोड मॉनिटर द ट्रांजैक्शन कोड इज एस टी ओ थ्री एन एस टी जीरो थ्री एन टू एनालाइज स्टैटिस्टिकल डेटा फॉर द एबैप कर्नल सो फॉर द एस एपी एबैप सिस्टम the sto3 n transaction it provides the the data stats okay if you are analyzing the performance of a system you should normally start with the workload overview so whenever we talk about performance tuning i want to analyze the performance of my system this transaction is the first you can also display the total values for all instances and compare the performance of particular instances over a period of time so here uh, this is a transaction which is central across on the instances so you can execute it on any instance okay you have options to display the values of all the instances or a particular instance and similarly over a period of time a wide range of analysis views and data helps you to find the source of performance problems quickly and easily so in the next slides we'll see the screen so it uh, it gives various analysis views okay for dialog types of our background for rfcs then rly based analysis view whatever it is okay you have n number of options and this makes our task easier to trace out where the problem is and for fixing it you can use the workload monitor to display the following among other things the number of instances configured for your system the number of users working on different instances the different instances the users then the response time distribution okay and the distribution of workload by transaction steps transactions packages sub, sub applications and applications so the depending upon like when you run a report okay uh it will show you like what are the programs executed what are the, what are the transactions executed all these things what are the http calls made everything it will show the transactions with the largest response times and database times okay so you can sort them depending upon like which transaction is having the highest response time which transaction is having the highest database time etc the memory usage for each transaction or each user per dialog step similarly the memory usage stats the workload caused by rfc broken down by transactions function modules and destinations the workload generated by requests from external systems then the volume the number and the volume of even the spool requests you can see the statistics about response time distribution with or without gui time okay the table access is the workload in transactions used by users broken down by users accounting numbers and clients and the workload generated by requests from external systems so everything these are the various options which the workload monitor displays okay the instances the users how the response time is distributed in the last video we have learned about the different components of a response time like the roll in time the wait time okay then the database time okay so and we have studied about the cpu time the load time all these things okay so for any transaction or a report or any rfc call or http access whatever it is you can see the how the response time is distributed across all these sub components okay then you can depending on that you can sort them you can filter you can sort okay so you'll come to know like what are the top hitters of database time or the top hitters in the response time okay then the memory usage you can see okay then uh, even the workload from the external systems also you can see then uh, the uh, the, vol the number and the volume of even the spool request we can see okay and the other one is the gui time the front end time okay so the front end time does not is not included in the response time of a dialog step or what or a background process or whatever it is so even that gui time we can see and depending upon like what in what user is executing what transactions or 
these that particular transaction is executed by how many users even even that type of analyzing can be done from here okay so this is a central transaction this is common across all instances and it gives a fantastic information okay so this is the ultimate transaction where you can analyze it when we talk about performance of the ABAP SAP ABAP application server okay so this STO3N is the main transaction for, for finding out the the performance of any transaction code or whatever it is from the SAP system the following applies to all of this data. You can display data for any instance, not only the instance you are logged on to or optionally the summarized for all instances. Okay. Then depending on the user mode, you can choose the period for which you want to display the data between day, week, month or specify the last minute's load as you require. For most analysis view, you can display all or only certain task types. Okay. So now the data you can again divide basing upon instance wise or a summarized data for all the instances the average one for all the instances okay and even when you choose the user mode okay you can choose like for what period you want to analyze whether it's a day a week a month or even hourly based okay and depending upon like whatever uh, options you have selected you can display the data by you can display the data of different task types also like for dialog for RFC for HTTP background all these things update okay so whatever data is presented again you can uh, divide it by these three criteria now the workload monitor has an interface that is divided into two parts okay use the tree structure on the left to make the following settings okay so i'll show you the screen so this is the screen of sto3n okay so here you have various modes the expert mode generally we'll select the expert mode we have the different instances and the total okay so instance wise you can select the data as we said okay in this slide okay or the summarized values you can check and periods okay here you have days below this you will have week and month also okay so we can select whatever time period we want and we can display the data for different task types okay so here we can select this like the workload uh, in the analysis views you can select the workload overview or you can go to this transaction profile stand you have other options there like standard and all those things see here if i select this workload overview it is showing the different task types so here i have selected total one day and workload overview okay so here it's showing for ale auto ABAP, ccms background buffer saying for for each task type what's the time taken and even the number of steps for that particular task type also it is showing okay so first so these are the various options the part one is you select this this side okay and then the, this is the part two which will show you like for what data it is presenting and part three it's the actual data which is presented now so you select the user mode okay so here first thing you select the mode then you select the period for which you want to display the workload you have to select the period third one select the different functions in the analysis view which data you want to display so here you will select like what data i want to display whether it's workload overview or memory stats okay or spool or rfcs or what data i want to display okay so this is on the left side now the system then displays the results on the right in the standardized alv grid control okay so on the right side the actual data is presented adjust the layout of the data output you can find any information using sort and filter functions save user specific views and display statistics graphically so here you have various options okay so i have selected one day and i'm choosing the workload overview some data is presented here okay so it is showing total months for the entire sap system the average values are displayed okay and task type all all means the different task types okay 
so here that particular day these are all the task types which were executed in the system for each task type it is showing the number of steps average response time the average processing time cpu db weight roll in roll weight load all those things you can scroll right to check the other like gui front end okay the roll uh, all those roll out and all those uh, values you can see similarly you can select other options like transaction profile we go to standard then we'll see what are all the transactions or the reports which were executed that day okay workload means it will show you based upon the task types if you go to this transaction profile it will show you like what are the different transactions which were executed for the time period and for the instance you have selected okay so there you if you want to analyze one transaction you can check that if you double click the transaction again again it in a sub window it will show you like what are who are all the users who have executed that transaction okay similarly you can go to the time profile okay so hourly based values you will get okay then the memory stats rfc profiles okay the front end spool uh, user and settlement all these things response time distribution everything okay so just explore this transaction it's it's a very good one it's a superb one okay so if you find any problem related to any transaction or if some user complains okay so then you can go to this user stats and there you can check like what are you can user wide user depending upon the user id the data will be displayed so you can double click on that user id okay then you'll get one sub window where it will show all the transactions which the user has executed okay so you can navigate you can go to different analysis views okay depending upon what data we want to display okay we can sort it okay first thing generally what we do we sort based upon that to average time okay then the top hitters we'll find and in those top hitters you can see like which component is taking up most of the time okay so this is about sto3 and it is a central transaction the workload monitor sap workload monitor now so in our performance tuning when we talk about performance tuning okay so if somebody complains like and uh, my see my transaction is running very high today then you run sto3 and okay you go to that user id that that report you will find out then you will check like that user id who has executed that report and you will display all these components there okay so so you'll go to that row where you'll find for that user that transaction all this information like what are the different types of response times we have okay based on that you can pinpoint like which component of the response time is hitting okay then we can we can we will come to know like how to fix it say if the date db time is very high for that report then something is the problem with the data okay so may buffering should be done or some index problem okay or probably whatever it is all those things okay then see if a transaction over a period of time the response time is increasing okay so that's why we say like we have to collect the metrics and collecting the metrics is done from sto3n manually there are certain other tools which pull the data from sto3n and present it in a better way however for all those tools also the central transaction for finding out uh, you know the various sap response times is sto3n only okay so even though we use different tools for the performance tuning they pull the data from st03n transaction which sap offers okay this this program is inbuilt in the sap kernel okay it collects the stats and it presents here so that's why if you manually collect the stats we can we'll collect from sto3n okay so generally what we'll do we'll choose like every week we'll go okay then we'll choose the transaction profile and we'll take the top hitters like the top transactions the top background jobs okay so you you can compare them these values over a period of time say like if 
a particular transaction or a job is occurring every week on the top then we can find out like what the problem is okay say like if users are complaining that this transaction is deteriorating day by day then you can compare the different components of the response time over a period of time and it is easy for us to pinpoint which component has the issue in the response time okay so that's why sto3n is the core transaction it's the sap workload monitor which is very useful in performance tuning thank you